Black boys with blue in the moonlight. Lips ashy, neck wrung, blue hands touch them like God. Pray them in the casket's call, bullets of baptism, headlines of christening, blue nails, scar, scratch, etched testaments into their ribs, blue eyes gripped with gaze. I mean, I'm sure not all Klansmen are bad. They just stood in the back of what CNN like called a coup. They just dressed up their racism in bright red hats and riots. They were just trying to protect and serve. They were just trying to answer the dispatcher. They were just trying to desecrate blue. I'm sure not all Klansmen are bad. And I'm sure the blood is red. Red like danger, like sticky and promising, because I've seen it spill. And even after I was told that blood was blue, even after I looked down at my blue veins, I was so sure it was red. And if blood was blue, maybe that's why cops spill it, to make black bodies into something that looks like them reflection and the first degree. And I'm sure that my cousin died of police brutality. I'm sure that he was aided to call the cops whenever he felt like he was going to have a psychotic break. I'm sure that he did. I'm sure that his heart was racing and his hands were shaking as he dialed 911. And I'm sure the police walked into his home and an EMT carried him out. And I know the life expectancy for a disabled person is 49 years. And I know the life expectancy for a black man is 75 years younger than any racial counterpart. And I know that I failed AP stats and don't know what this means from a disabled black brother, but I know he wouldn't understand how to keep his hands visible, how to find the safety between advocacy and silence. And I know that his skin feels heavy on his bones. And I know that I can't be grateful that he is alive today that accepting that there will be a day where he won't be. And I know that black boys look blue in the moonlight, and I wanna tuck them in every night at dusk and make sure they make it to dawn.